Welcome to Evolution of Self with me, Britannia. When we talk about raising your vibration, there are so many different things you can do to help you raise your vibration. Because ultimately, all we are is a vibration of energy. Our thoughts are vibrations, our emotions are vibrations, any actions we take are vibrations. So everything that we do, everything we experience, is just a case of vibrations. Um, when we see something or we hear it, it's just the external universe vibrating and allowing our senses to pick it up. And the reason I'm going into this is because one of the ways to raise your vibration is through changing who you're being while you're doing things. The world that we live in at the moment is very focused on action. You know, making sure that you get up, you work, that you physically fit, what you eat. It's very much focused on the things that we do and being an active participant. But we are human beings, not human doings. <laughs> so who we are being is so much more important than what we're doing. And I'm not saying that you need to change what you're doing. You don't actually need to change anything other than who you're being while you're doing and going about your everyday life. For instance, if you're somebody who does a lot of exercise and you feel you need to exercise to keep fit and healthy, when you're exercising, you might be doing it because you feel you should do it so that you can stay fit and healthy and look the way you want to look. But you can change who you're being while you're doing your exercise. You could be somebody who's loving your body. You could be somebody who's thoroughly enjoying the experience of um, inhabiting a healthy, vibrant, fit body. Um, you could be somebody who's just in the moment being grateful for everything that you've got. There's so many different things that you could be being in that moment. And I mean, I'm just talking about exercise, but it could be about absolutely anything. Um, it could be about somebody who's at work. Um, you could be at work doing what you need to do because you feel that you need to do it so that you can keep your job, be admired by the people you work with, or whatever it happens to be to fit in with society. But then just shift that and change that and start focusing on being somebody who is enjoying the relationships around you, enjoying the experience of whatever work it is that you do, and just enjoying the experience of life. Um, it can change the whole experience of whatever it is that you're actually doing. And that's what I really just want you to be aware of today when you go about whatever it is that you're doing in the world, is who are you being while you're doing whatever you're doing? Um, sorry, another thing that just came to me as well is driving. Um, I end up driving quite a bit during the day because I have to take my son to and from school because there's not a great bus service where we are. And I spend, it means that I spend a fair amount of time in the car. Now, I could be somebody in the car who's rushing and impatient and cross with people and irritated by traffic jams, or I can choose just to be somebody who is grateful for the time I get to spend with my son. Um, somebody who's grateful for all the sort of humanity around me. Um, and that you can find so many other things to be grateful for. I mean, it's just an endless <laughs> um, opportunity to find things to be grateful for. So in every situation of your life, whatever you happen to be doing, you can change who you're being in that moment. And when you change who you're being in that moment, your whole experience of life changes. And not only does your experience of life change, but what you're experiencing changes as well. I've shared this in another, um, another episode that I've done, um, and it pertains to driving and an experiment I did in Botswana years ago when I decided that I was going to be friend, not more than friendly, sort of really loving to everybody that I sort of encountered when I was driving. If I saw someone that needed to be let in, I'd let them in. Um, I went out of my way to be kind to people while I was driving around. And within a week, I found that I was let in more, more often than I had been before. So I found the kindness that I'd been demonstrating while I was driving around reflected back to me, even though the people that let me in could never have been the people that I let in. But the external, my external world mirrored and reflected who I was being as I was going about my daily business. I hope you've enjoyed this episode. Um, if you have and you'd like to hear more, make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out. Um, I also offer coaching and I've got a number of online courses and you can see those on my website, which is also in the show notes below, along with all my social media links if you want to connect with me and find out anything else that I'm doing. 
So much love from me to you and have a fabulous week. Bye bye.